It's the weekend here at Muscle in the Morning, brought to you by Iron Mag Labs. Make your mark. I'm Dave Palumbo, and today is Friday, April 15th, 2016. Let's find out what's going on in the world of bodybuilding and fitness. Well, we're a few shows into the new Classic Physique Experience, and so far we've seen some old favorites and some new surprises emerge as frontrunners for the new division. But just about one month out from bringing his talents back to the Classic Physique stage, IFBB veteran Stan McQuay is ready to avenge his loss to Danny Hester that took place at the first Classic Physique Pro Show. Over the weekend, new photos surfaced of an unbelievable looking McQuay, about four weeks out from making his 2016 debut. Over the last few years, McQuay has struggled to find his footing in the 212 division amongst the bigger competitors. But Classic Physique seems tailor-made for him to step right in and become an overnight star. And with McQuay's small waist and ability to get ultra shredded, watch out as the season progresses because Stan is just getting warmed up. After starting his pro career off with a bang by placing top 10 at the Arnold Classic, rookie sensation Lucas Weiler is gearing up to make another run at the pro stage. This week, someone in Weiler's camp released some new photos with the titling, Seven Weeks Out, leaving a not so subtle hint that the former Arnold Amateur Champ is in the midst of yet another contest prep. From front to back, Weiler is a big, thick athlete whose physique still needs a little bit of refinement, but overall seems to have some real promise. With a slightly harder and drier look in the right lineup, Weiler can certainly bring home his first IFBB Pro victory. Fresh off a feel-good comeback season that saw him lock up a win in front of his hometown at the Tampa Pro before moving on later in the year to place top 10 in the Olympia, 212 star Al Augusti seems poised to hit the ground running this season. After being sidelined with injuries that cost him the entire 2014 season, Augusti made it back to the stage last year like a man possessed and seems hell-bent on showing the bodybuilding world that he ain't quite done yet. When he's in shape, Augusti is absolutely capable of hanging with just about anyone in the 212 lineup. But in a division where the difference between first and fourth is like splitting atoms, he better make sure he brings his A game every time he steps on stage, because it doesn't take much to go from 100 to zero in no time at all. Just for the record, I'm not a huge fan of the word freak. It's been so overused and watered down over the years that somewhere along the line it just seems to lose its true luster. But every so often you see something come along that truly puts you at a loss for words because it's, well, it's kind of freakish. And it seems like Michael Lockett is involved in a lot of those moments. Recently the second year pro released some footage from a few candid posing sessions where we get a chance to see him show off a little bit of what he's been working so hard on these last few months. Last season we saw a very good version of Michael Lockett, but none of them were nearly as good as we know he can be. But if he makes up his mind to go the extra mile and really pour everything he has into bringing his best, there might be no stopping Michael Lockett. You don't get to work with a who's who in the game and have a resume that spans 20 plus years without knowing a thing or two about something. Over the weekend, our old friend Derek Farnsworth unveiled one of the many tricks he's got tucked away deep in the bag when he leaked some video from a recent back training session. Last season, Farnsworth really did some damage, locking up a handful of top 10 finishes, including a close second place up at the Vancouver Pro. And even at 45, Farnsworth still isn't showing any signs of slowing down. And whenever he decides to show up and throw down this year, I'm sure that we can expect to see nothing less than his very best. And that does it for yet another edition of Muscle in the Morning, brought to you by Iron Mag Labs. Make your mark. Check out IronMagLabs.com today. I'm Dave Palumbo, reminding you to always be true to your passions. And make sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And have a happy April Fool's Day. Hey guys, it's Stevie B here. If you like what you're seeing, 
Hit the subscribe button below and never miss another RX Muscle show, segment, or update. RX Muscle is number one. Woo!